So you want to start a research project and the question is, does my project need IRB approval? Who has time to go through the long documents just to answer that? So I've scoured through many IRB sites so that I can make it easy for you. What type of research projects need an IRB? Human subjects research. If you look at this Venn diagram here, this circle on the left is human subjects and on the right is research. The intersection is human subjects research and this very sliver is where IRB is required. The goal of the IRB is to make sure that human subjects are protected within research. So what does human subjects mean? When your project is meant to investigate humans, that is called a human subject. There are some nuances though, so be sure to stick around to the end to learn all about it. What gets even more confusing is the research part. Not all projects are research and not all publications are research. So let's go through the definition. What is research? It is an investigation that is done in a systematic way to contribute to generalizable knowledge. And the key word is generalizable knowledge. Now let us go through one project at a time. So the first up, case report. Does it involve human subject? Yes. Is it research? No. Why? Only one patient, so you can't provide generalizable knowledge. So IRB is not required. Next up, case series. Instead of one patient, you have more than one patient. Once there are more than three patients, it is actually sometimes considered systematic investigation. Is it research? Yes, because it can provide generalizable knowledge. Does it need IRB? This one depends on your institution. Sometimes they say, say three is enough. Some they say you need more um, to decide if you need IRB. Next up, quality improvement projects. Is it human subjects? Yes. Research? No. Why is that? So let me go through the differences. The goal of a research paper is to find new evidence and push the edges. Goal of a quality improvement project is how do we make sure that evidence practice or standard of care is used within our institution. So what is proven, we want to make sure we use it in our institution. So basically QI or quality improvement project is designed to help your local institution comply or meet the standards of care. And also to assess the performance of your institution compared to national standards. So it is designed to solve a local problem and not outside of the institution. Now, even though you don't need IRB approval for that, I would still recommend that you get a formal letter from the institution or your IRB um, from your institution. That's because higher impact journals like to have formal determination letters. Um, one more tip is if you have already started a quality improvement project, you can still ask the IRB to give you a letter if needed. Most of them are really nice enough to do that for you. Next step, clinical research studies. So this includes cross-sectional study, cohort study, case control studies, randomized control trials. Human subjects, yes. Research, yes. So this one is a simple one. I know conducting a research project is an overwhelming process, so I made the idea to paper blueprint for you. This blueprint takes you through a seven step process from idea generation to paper submission. So be sure to get a copy by clicking the link at the description below. Now let's move on to human subjects. Here, there are actually several definitions. Human subject means it is a living individual where an in whom an investigator who is conducting the research gets a few things. First is data through intervention or interaction with um, an individual with identifier private information. For example, a person who participates in research as a test subject or a control, data obtained from medical records, survey or observation, even if the data is recorded without identifiers, and third, tissue used in research that uh, is linked to any kind of identifiable information. Now, what, does not, what is not considered a human subject? First, disease subject. Second, tissue that is not linked to an identifier information. Now, the FDA or the Food and Drug Administration regulations define a human subject research a little bit differently. For them, as long as it's individual who becomes a participant in research, either as a recipient of the test or as a control, that counts as um, human subjects, regardless of the study design. So even if the study is designed to treat one person, it is also treated as human subjects research, even though the um, generalizable knowledge will not be present. To recap, IRB is required for human subject research. In simple terms, just ask these two questions. Does it involve human subjects? 
And second question, is it research? If the answer is yes for these two questions, then usually you're good. So eventually you will still need to follow your own institutional guidelines. In the next video, I will be talking about the steps you need so that your IRE approval is done fast. So be sure to subscribe and get the notification when it comes up. I'll see you in the next video.